Hey guys, Erica here, and today we're continuing our series of data security practices to keep your personal and sensitive information from being compromised. Macs in particular are well known for rarely being targeted by specific attacks and malware. So you might just go about your business thinking you're safe from harm, but built into the OS, you're provided a number of additional features to further reinforce your system. One of the most powerful and useful is enabling the built-in firewall. It helps prevent incoming unwanted connections, meaning it's more difficult for any baddies to freely access your system remotely. To modify your system's firewall options, go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, then click on the Firewall tab. Click the padlock, then go ahead and enter your password. Here you can enable the firewall as well as tweak some more advanced options such as which external connections can access your system. A firewall is an excellent addition to your arsenal, but be aware it won't stop you from installing malware manually or prevent already installed malware from transmitting data. So while it may be a wall or gatekeeper, if you will, you still remain the key master. Another simple tip for when you're in public and if you've previously set up your Mac's firewall is that you can enable stealth mode in the firewall options window to help keep your system hidden on public Wi-Fi networks like a ninja. So you've taken the time to set up a firewall. Why not add a simple antivirus? As I mentioned before, Macs are known for their virus resilience due to a number of factors, but that doesn't mean they're immune. Running an antivirus program and scanning the system now and then isn't a bad idea. While it may slow the system while updating and scanning, it shouldn't be a detriment to the system's overall performance. I personally use a free antivirus program that covers the basics, and what I find even more helpful is it lets me know when I've landed on a malicious site when I inevitably find myself on a deep dive Google binge. So while many Mac users find they're unnecessary, an antivirus can actually add a layer of protection and your computer won't rack up those sick days. If you're using your system remotely via Wi-Fi or public networks pretty regularly, you may want to consider using a VPN service. A virtual private network will encrypt your data and send it to the VPN service so that any other people using that public network can't creep on what you're doing. It has little to no effect on your ability to work as normal and adds some extra protection to make sure your barista isn't adding your online banking password to their tip jar. And with internet providers and other networks having access to gather your online data to sell to third parties, a VPN would create a barrier so they can't even see your data. There's a variety of VPN services out there, so take some time to look into which one best suits your needs, budget, usage, and even your specific platform like Mac, PC, or mobile device. Finally, the best defense for data privacy and security of your system is simply awareness and good old common sense. Don't leave your computer unlocked or unattended in public areas. This includes around the office. You don't want somebody using your work email to spam inappropriate material, install malware when you're not there, or just get into sensitive information they really shouldn't have access to. Avoid illegal file sharing. It's probably a rare occasion that you know exactly who or what is at the end of that transfer. Don't set yourself up for a ransomware lockout. Establish a backup solution to retain access to your data even if your laptop is physically stolen. This is really just good practice in general to protect your data in the event of a drive failure, but it can also assist you in recovering from a ransomware or severe malware attack. Stay updated. It's important to keep your OS software and any antivirus up to date to thwart newly discovered security threats. Apple makes it easy with pop-up reminders as OS security and other updates become available, so don't just click those off blindly. I mentioned at the start of our series that there is little you can do in regards to how third parties handle your data. Using some of these practices at work if you are the third party can help further protect the data of your customers and clients. After all, not all heroes wear capes. Well guys, hopefully I've been able to help you feel a little more safe and sound with your data. That's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us for even more great tips. I'll see you next time.